Hello, Comprehensive Exam Committee. I'm so honored to have a chance to introduce my dissertation research. Uh, in this presentation, I would like to share my personal story behind my study. And then you will learn the importance of my study for both the leadership research and practice. How I'm enabled to conduct this study, what research methodology I will use to address my research question, and why this study matters to me. I have been working as a high school teacher in China for 20 years. I was, that was the most satisfying teaching experience of my entire career life. I enjoyed it immense, immensely. Students positively engaged in the subject I taught and my ped pedagogical approach. Even though there was a time I was frustrated from my ineffective teaching method and then student chaos behavior, I, I learned a huge amount in this process. Although I found my teaching experience rewarding, to some degree, I have to acknowledge the fact that under a highly competitive and political Chinese education system, most of the principals and the teachers in China were confronting the challenges of feeling unprepared in dealing with the conflict between the hierarchical structure of examination and the more meaningful approaches to teaching and learning. This reality left me wondering, facing the same challenges, why some teachers can embrace their professional challenges with a stronger sense of perseverance than others, and why some principals can motivate their teachers effectively while others cannot. So my dissertation research started with this concern. After I shared my concern with my dissertation chair, Dr. Tom Osbury, in the beginning, he helped me to narrow down my research topic to the effect of principal situational leadership on teacher self-advocacy. That's the first time I learned this concept, teacher self-advocacy. As one expert in secondary education, Dr. Osbury taught me that Teacher self-advocacy was one of crucial factors in student education and an essential part of student teacher success as well. I resonated greatly with his opinion because I learned that being, one's, uh, being confident in one's uh, ability is one crucial component of human agency, and this holds true for teachers. So learning how school leadership develop teacher self-advocacy to ultimately improve student learning is directly connected to my career, to my, to my passion. So my research focuses on two components of theoretical framework, situational leadership and teacher self-advocacy. Grounded on Banger's Social Cognitive Theory, 1986, Teacher self-advocacy refers to teachers' belief in their ability to enhance student learning, even among those students who are difficult or unmotivated. In the last 25 years, teacher self-advocacy has, has been recognized as a powerful and predictive structure of successful behavior in education domains, such as teacher well-being, and professional effectiveness and student achievement. Situational leadership, created by Hersey and Blanchard in the 1970s, this theory emphasized that there is no one best way to influence others. Leaders must adapt their leadership style by using guidance behavior and social emotional, social emotional support behavior based on the follower's needs to ensure the followers keep a strong sense of motivation and commitment for a better performance. So my theoretical framework is informed by reviewing the literature review of studies into association between situational leadership and teacher self-advocacy. Perhaps you, like me, are shocked to learn that even though there have, has been much attention paid to the effect of school leadership on teacher self-advocacy, 
the studies into the association between principal's situational leadership on teacher self efficacy is scarce. In addition to the gap in research, most of the studies of teacher self efficacy were conducted in Western countries, and there is a great need for conducting studies in non Western countries. Just as a class in 2011 observed, teacher methods and conditions may vary greatly across countries. Studies into teacher self efficacy should be studied from a larger and cross cultural and international viewpoint. So I become confident and motivated to conduct my study in China. I can assume that the importance of my study have threefold. Um, first, my study can provide school leaders in China with evidence-based strategies for improving leadership skills to reshape the organizational values from a higher structure, hierarchical structure to egalitarian learning communities. Second, my study could provide directions for school leaders in terms of teachers' professional development to facilitate teachers' professional growth, increasing their self actual belief in their professionalism. And then put them together, this result, the, the study result, will ultimate, ultimately benefit student learning by creating a positive school climate in which students will engage in learning. Third, this study will add to the growing body of international literature and then serve as a foundation for future research in the fields of leadership and education. Now, in terms of how I'm enabled to conduct my study, actually, I talked a lot with Dr. Osbury about my research process. Dr. Osbury guided me toward designing a focused study that includes the following aspects. First, in my study, the research question is to determine if there is a st statistically significant association between the independable, independable variable of, situation, of situational leadership and dependable, dependent variable of teacher self efficacy So my study is going to be a correlational quantitative research design. Second, my study will utilize the survey-based approach. A survey design provides a quantitative or numerical description of trends, attitudes, and opinions of a population by studying the sample of that population. So teacher principles situational leadership will be measured using lead instrument which is created by Hersey and Blanchard in 2013. That is designed to measure the self-perception of three aspects of, of leader behavior, style, style rage, and style adaptability. Teacher self efficacy will be measured using teacher sense of self efficacy skill created by Chandan Morin and Huey 2001, which is desired to mirror three factors of pertaining to teacher self efficacy instructional strategies, classroom management, and student engagement. Third, since this study is to test the association of between two ordinal variables, Pearson chi square test will be used to analyze data. In addition, this study will be conducted in China, so the population will include the teachers and the leaders from high school in northeastern China. And the population size will be determined using the power analysis that is based on the, the strength of association in the relevant literature. Now let me finish my talk by, you, by sharing the reasons why this, this study matters to me. I can see three gems from this study. First, this study will mark a milestone in my academic life, suggesting that I'm enabled to engage in the job crafting to, to increase my personal meaning of my future work. 
Second, my career goal is to support the development of school in China. So I view this study as an emotional connection between the people who have helped me in America and the people who I'm, whom I'm going to help in China. Third, conducting this study is never easy. So I cannot uh, motive, motive myself to say, May, you can do it by yourself. Trust yourself. Instead, I would like to say, I trust God because God can provide me with the wisdom and the power that I need to complete my study. Belief in this sense is not just an intellectual commitment, it's a commitment of a heart. So trusting, yeah, trusting God in my heart is why this study matters to me. Thank you for your watching.